if we bankrupt a business, if we bankrupt a business or choke in a crisis, we don't get a second, third, or fourth chance. If things don't go our way, we don't have the luxury of whining or cheating others to get further ahead. No. We don't get to change the rules so we always win. If we see a mountain in front of us, we don't expect there to yeah, be an escalator about, waiting right? to take us to the no top. Name, but she's talking about the man. No. With the orange spray team. We put our heads down. We get to work. In America, we do something. And throughout her entire life, that's what we've seen from Kamala Harris. The steel of her spine, the steadiness of her upbringing, sure like the, video, the honesty man, of her example, and yes, the joy of her laughter and her light. It couldn't be more obvious. Of the two major candidates in this race, only Kamala Harris truly understands the unseen labor and unwavering commitment that has always made America great. Now, un unfortunately, we know what comes next. We know folks are going to do everything they can to distort her truth. My husband and I sadly know a little something about this. <laughs> For years, Donald Trump did everything in his power to try to make people fear us. See, his, his limited, yeah. narrow view of the world made him feel threatened by the existence of two hardworking, highly educated, successful people who happen yeah. to be black. <laughs> Or is it just the reality of since y'all have been out of office, a lot has been uncovered about y'all. Obama's history, you know, questioning the gender I, I, of I wanna Michelle. Know. I want to know. Who's His policy when he was in office. Who's going to tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs? Shit, more people got uh, deported under Obama than any other president. Yeah, we're snapping like it's some type of poem man. Like, oh, Look, it's his same old con. It's his same old con. Doubling down yeah. on ugly, misogynistic, racist lies oh. as a substitute for real ideas and solutions that will actually make people's lives better. Look, because... Cutting our health care, taking away our freedom to control our bodies, the freedom to become a mother through IVF like I did, those things are not going to improve the health outcomes of our wives, mothers, and daughters. Shutting down the Department of Education, banning our books, none of that will prepare our kids for the future demonizing our children for being who they are and loving who they love. Look, that doesn't oh, make anybody's book, CRT. life better. How y'all feel about CRT, man? Instead, should we keep instead, perpetuating this same history lesson? It only makes we us kinda small. Move past it? How y'all feel? And let me tell you this, going small is never the answer. Going small is Go the big. opposite of what we teach our kids. Go Going huge. small is petty, it's unhealthy, and quite frankly, it's unpresidential. <laughs> so, why would any of us Obama's out here to close the accept night this from Masterful. anyone seeking our highest Masterful. office? Why would we normalize that type of backward leadership? Doing so only demeans and cheapens our politics. It only serves to further discourage good, big-hearted people from wanting to get involved at all. America, our parents taught us better than that, and we deserve so much better than that. That's why we must do everything in our power to elect 
two of those good, big-hearted people. There is no other choice than Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. No other choice. But as we yeah, that's crazy. embrace no other choice, this renewed sense of hope, let us not forget the despair Tampon, Tim, we have felt. For Kamala. Let us not forget what we are up against. Yes, Kamala and Tim are doing great now. We're loving it. They're packing arenas across the country. Folks are energized. We are feeling good. They're selling out arenas, but, but an answering no type of questions. Remember, there no are policy. still so many people who are desperate for a different outcome, who are ready to question and criticize every move Kamala makes, who are eager to spread those lies, who don't want to vote for a woman, who will continue to prioritize building their wealth over ensuring that everyone everybody has tuning enough. In, man. Make sure to like the video. So no matter how screen, good man. we feel tonight or tomorrow or the next day, this is going we'll to be we'll an uphill we'll battle. So folks, we cannot be our own worst enemies. No. See, because the minute something goes wrong, the minute a lie takes hold, folks, we cannot start wringing our hands. We cannot get a Goldilocks complex about whether everything is just right. And we cannot indulge our anxieties about whether this country will elect someone like Kamala instead of doing everything we can to get someone like Kamala elected. And Tim, they have lived amazing <laughs> lives. And I, I am confident that they will lead with compassion, inclusion, and grace. But they are still only human. They are not perfect. And like all of us, they will make mistakes. But luckily, y'all, this is not just on them. No, uh-uh, this is up to us, all of us, to be the solution that we seek. It's up to all of us to be the antidote to the darkness and division. Look, I don't care how you identify politically, whether you're Democrat, Republican, Independent, or none of the above, this is our time to stand up for what we know in our hearts is right. Right, man, go ahead and make sure to like the video, dog. Every type of screen. To stand up. I don't care what side you on, man. Freedoms, but for decency and humanity, for basic respect, dignity, and empathy, for the values at the very foundation of this democracy. It's up to us to remember what Kamala's mother told her. Don't just sit around and complain. Do something. So if they lie about her, and they will, we've got to do something. If we see a bad poll, and we will, we got to put down that phone and do something. If we start feeling tired, if we start feeling that dread creeping back in, we got to pick ourselves up, throw water on our face, and what? Do we only have two and a half months, y'all, to get this done only 11 weeks to make sure every single Do person we know is registered and has a voting plan. So we cannot afford for anyone, yeah, I see anyone, how they anyone this man, America Donald to Trump, sit man. on their hands and wait to be hey, called. He's a big, bad, bully Don't villain, and they got to take him down. No one from the campaign has specifically reached out to you to ask you for your support. There is simply no time for that kind of foolishness. You know what you need to do. So, consider this to be your official ask. Michelle Obama is asking you, no, I'm telling y'all to do something. 
All right, Mike. So we, I mean, God damn it. God damn it, Chad. You got me calling him Mike. Shit, we all need to do something and get informed, man. I don't care who you voting for. Actually, this election yeah, I really don't. It's gonna be close. In some states, just a handful. Listen to me, a handful of votes in every precinct could decide the winner. So we need to vote in numbers that erase any doubt. We need to overwhelm any effort to suppress us. Our fate is in our hands. In 77 days, we have the power to turn our country away from the fear, division, and smallness of the past. We have the power to marry our hope with our action. They're notable we Democrats. We have the power to pay the forward party. the yeah. love, Obama's, sweat, and sacrifice Clinton's. of our mothers Bro, their and fathers and all those who came before us. We did it before y'all, and we sure can do it again. Let us work like our lives depend on it. And you know, the rumor has it, like, uh, when they first kind of appointed Kamala, yes, or always when higher Kamala than we've ever gone first said she was running, they really the didn't have the Obama's endorsement. Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. Thank you all. God bless. So, some time had to pass. I guess she had to earn it, so to speak. And now the Obamas endorse her. And that's huge. It's huge for Kamala. She, she probably couldn't have did it without the Obama endorsement. Now, before I go. But yeah, make sure to I like the video. Appreciate everybody tonight. tuning in, man. Double tap the screen or the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Yeah. One more job. You all, thank you for all the love, but it is now my honor to introduce somebody hey. who knows a whole lot about hope. Someone who has spent his life strengthening our democracy, and let me tell you, as someone who Shit, lives with him, arguably one of the most popular presidents of all time. Every day, how you feel about the man? Every like, day. Shoot, who big? And thinks about what's best for this country. Please welcome America's 44th president and the love of my life, Barack uh, Obama. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you. Let's see what the Democratic Party's up to. Thank you. Kamala's not here tonight, but, you know. They got Obama speaking up. Chicago! It's good to be home! It is good to be home, and I, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling fired up. He's feeling fired up. I, I, I am feeling ready to go. Even if, even if I am the only person stupid enough to speak after Michelle Obama. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all see me, I ain't paused the video at all, man. Get the likes up, man. It's free, man. Double tap the screen, smash that like button. Double tap the screen, three dots in the upper right hand corner, man. We need more people in here. It helps us out with the algorithm and all that good stuff. So just like the video. God damn it, appreciate y'all. I am feeling hopeful because this convention has always been pretty good to kids with funny names who believe in a country where anything is possible. Because we have a chance to elect someone who has spent her entire life trying to give people the same chances America gave her. Someone who sees you and hears you and will get up every single day and fight for you. 
Mm. The next president of the United States of America, Kamala Harris. Depending on who you ask. It's all very subjective. It's been 16 years since I had the honor of accepting this party's nomination for president. And I know that's hard to believe because I have not aged a bit. <laughs> nah, I'll be honest, you look good for a But it's Don't true. Keep it a book. And, and looking back, I can say without question that my first big decision as your nominee turned out to be one of my best. And that was asking Joe Biden to serve by my side as vice president. Well, if you think about it, <laughs> uh, uh, other other than some common Irish blood, Joe and I come from different backgrounds, but we became brothers. But this could potentially be Obama's and fourth as we term. Work together for eight, to himself, one with Joe, one with Kamala. What I came to admire most about Joe wasn't just his smarts, his experience. It was his empathy and his decency and his hard earned resilience, his unshakable belief that everyone in this country deserves a fair shot. And over the last four years, those are the values America has needed most. At a time when millions of our fellow citizens were sick and dying, we needed a leader with the character to put politics aside and do what was right. At a time when our economy was reeling, we needed a leader with the determination to drive what would become the world's strongest recovery. 15 million jobs, higher wages, lower health care costs. Y'all go ahead and get the likes up, man. Double tap the screen and hit the three dots in the upper right-hand corner. When the right other party corner had turned into a cult of personality. We, we needed a leader who was we can steady in here, man. and brought people together and was selfless enough to do the rarest thing there is in politics, putting his own ambition aside for the sake of the country. <laughs> History will remember Joe Biden as an outstanding president who defended democracy at a moment of great danger. And I am proud to call him my president, but I am even prouder to call him my friend. No, Obama is a, is a powerful speaker. Now, world-class speaker, I would the say. The torch has been passed. Now it is up to all of us to fight like him for or the not. America we believe in. He can give a galvanizing speech. And make no mistake, it will be a fight. For all the incredible energy we've been able to generate over the last few weeks, for all the rallies and the memes. Appreciate everybody tuning in. If you're just now getting in here, man, this make sure to like the video, be man. A tight it's free. Race Smash that like button. In Double a tap closely the screen. divided country. A country where too many Americans are still struggling. Where a lot of Americans don't believe government can help. And as we gather here tonight, the people who will decide this election are asking a very simple question. Who will fight for me? Who's thinking about my future, about my children's future, about our future together? One thing is for certain, Donald Trump is not losing sleep over that question. <laughs> Here's a 78-year-old billionaire family, actually. who has not stopped whining about 
his problems since he rode down his golden escalator nine years ago. It has been a constant stream of, of gripes and grievances that, that's actually been getting worse now that he's afraid of losing to Kamala. Afraid of losing to Kamala. There's the childish nicknames, mm -mm -mm. the crazy conspiracy theories. The nicknames, the conspiracy theories, isn't that y'all? Y'all call him a dictator? Y'all call him an evil man? It, Project 2025? It, I, it just goes on and on and on. The weird obsession with sizes. I the other day I heard someone compare yeah. Trump. The, the, the truth is Donald Trump sees power as nothing more than it means to his ends. He wants the middle class to pay the price for another huge tax cut that would mostly help him and his rich friends. What? He killed a bipartisan immigration deal written in part by one of the most conservative his Republicans in Congress in that would have helped secure our southern border because he thought trying to actually solve the problem would hurt his campaign. Whoa, 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 whoa. He doesn't. He said he didn't want to secure do not the southern move. border. That was Trump's Vote. biggest calling card in 2016. Or rallying card, I should say. I'm going to build this he wall, doesn't build, the care wall. If more build the wall, build the wall. Women lose their reproductive freedom since it won't affect his life. And most of all, Donald Trump wants us to think that this country is hopelessly divided between us and them, between the real Americans, who of course support him, and the outsiders who don't. Who and Obama, trust me. And he wants you to think that you'll be richer and safer if you will just give him the power to put those other people back in their place. No it, it is one of the oldest tricks in politics. From a guy who has, let's face it, gotten pretty stale. <laughs> we do not need four more years of bluster and bumbling and chaos we have seen that movie before, and we all know that the sequel is usually worse. <laughs> America's ready for a new chapter. America's ready for a better story. We are ready for a president, Kamala Harris. Mm. And Kamala Harris is ready for the job. Mm. This is a person who has spent her life fighting on behalf of people who need a voice and a champion. Mm. As you heard from Michelle, Ka Kamala was not born into privilege. She had to work for what she's got. Sure. And she actually cares about what other people are going through. She's not the neighbor running the leaf blower. She's the neighbor rushing over to help when you need a hand. As a prosecutor, Kamala stood up for children who had been victims of sexual abuse. As an attorney general of the most populous state in the country, she fought big banks and for-profit colleges, securing billions of dollars for the people they had scammed. After the home mortgage crisis, she pushed me and my administration hard to make sure homeowners got a fair settlement. Didn't matter that I was a Democrat. Didn't matter that she had knocked on doors for my campaign in Iowa. She was going charges? to fight to get as much relief as possible for the families I'm who deserved it. For weed in Cali. As vice president, she helped take on the drug companies to cap the cost of insulin, lower the cost of health care, give families with kids a tax cut. And she is running for president with real plans to lower costs even more and protect Medicare and Medicaid and sign a law to guarantee every woman's right to make 
her own health care decisions. Is to kill or not to kill, really? In other words, Kamala Harris won't be focused on her problems. Like, leave it up to the states is not good enough. She'll they want to sign it yours. into law that a woman has the right to kill or not kill. As president, she won't just cater to her own supporters and punish those who refuse to kiss the ring or bend the knee. She'll work on behalf of every American. That's who Kamala is. And in the White House, she will have an oh, outstanding How they just trying to paint Kamala as this wholesome, caring individual who's just going to uh, fight for every American's right and let, let, let who just understands the, the, the average let me, struggle let, let, of the let, American. Let, let, let me tell you like, something. She's no I love different this than guy. any other politician. Like, don't know politician know our struggle. Tim is the kind of person who should be in politics. Born in a small town, served his country, taught kids, coached football, no, took okay. care of his coached neighbors. Football. Oh, okay. oh. Oh. He knows he who he football. is, and he knows what's important. You can tell those, those flannel shirts he wears don't come from some political consultant. They come from his closet, and they have been through some stuff. Stuff. That's right. Chat, man. Keep it there. Together, Kamala and Tim have kept faith with America's central story. Tampon Tim over here complimenting his flannels. We are like, all created equal. Eh, it's about right coming from Obama. Y'all know how Obama. All of us endowed with certain inalienable rights that everyone deserves a chance that even when we don't agree with each other, we can find a way to live with each other. Oh, freaky frog ass. That's nigga. Kamala's vision. That's Tim's vision. That's the Democratic Party's vision. And our job over the next 11 weeks is to convince as many people as possible to vote for that vision. Now, it won't be easy. The other side knows it's easier to play on people's fears and cynicism. Always has been. Really? They Aren't y'all playing you on people's fears, though? Government is inherently corrupt. That, that sacrifice and generosity are for suckers. Ah, man. Don't you just and love how they flip it on? Since the game is rigged, it's OK to take what you want and, and just look after your own. That's the easy path. We have a different task. Our job is to convince people that democracy can actually deliver. And, and in doing that, we can't just point to what we've already accomplished. We can't just rely on the ideas of the past. We need to chart a new way forward to meet the challenges of today. And Kamala understands this. She knows, for example, that if we want to make it easier for more Everybody young people to buy a home, in, man. Double tap the we need to build more units Three dots and clear away right some of the outdated screen. laws and regulations that have made it harder button, to build please. homes for working people in this country. That is a priority, and she's put out a bold new plan to do just that. <laughs> On health care, we should all be proud of the enormous progress that we've made through the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> providing millions of people access to affordable coverage. Protecting millions more from unscrupulous insurance practices. And I noticed, by the way, that since it's become popular, they Not don't call it Obamacare. over 200 of y'all in here, man. Appreciate everybody tuning in, man. Go ahead and hit that like button. But <laughs> Kamala knows we can't stop there, which is why she'll keep working to limit out-of-pocket costs. Kamala knows that if we want to help people get ahead, we need to put a college degree within reach of more Americans. But, but she also knows college shouldn't be the only ticket to the middle class. 
We need to follow the lead of governors like Tim Walz, who said, if you've got the skills and the drive, you it's shouldn't the need a degree teams. to work for state government. And in this new economy, Camel is hilarious. we need a president who actually cares about the millions of people all across this country who wake up every single day to do the essential, often thankless work, to care for our sick, to clean our streets, to deliver our packages. We need a president who will stand up okay, for their right that to bargain for better wages and working nation. conditions. And, she was and Kamala will be that president. Ghosts. The past four years as a VP, like we haven't heard nothing from her. And now they're trying to get us to believe that she's just exactly what we need. Yes, she can. This is a tough sell. For me. Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Yes, Mama can say anything in there. You did that, like a Harris Waltz administration Obama. can help us move past some of the tired old debates that keep stifling progress because at their core, Kamala and Tim understand that when everybody gets a fair shot, we are all better off. They understand that when every child gets a good education, the whole economy gets stronger. Mm -hmm. When women are paid the same as men for doing the same job, all families benefit. There's no damn wage gap. They understand that we can secure our borders so without loud. tearing kids away from their parents. Just like we can keep our streets safe while also building trust between law enforcement and the communities they serve like, what is she and eliminating the border? bias, that will make it better for everybody. In what ways did she address everybody? the border crisis in the last four years? Like, somebody tell me, and I really want to know. If I'm missing stats, let me know. Donald Trump and now they're trying to tell us, well like, oh, donors, but if we vote her in the office, though, as president, she's really good. For them, one group's gains is necessarily another group's loss. For them, freedom means that the powerful can do pretty much what they please, whether it's fire workers trying to organize a union or put poison in our rivers or Avoid paying taxes like everybody else has to do? Well, we have a broader idea of freedom. We believe in the freedom to provide for your family if you're willing to work hard. The freedom to breathe clean air and drink clean water and send your kids to school without worrying if they'll come home. We believe that true freedom gives each of us the right to make decisions about our own life, how we worship, what our family looks like, how many kids we have, who we marry. And we believe that freedom requires us to recognize that other people have the freedom to make choices well, that are it different than from VP ours. To VP, That's okay. I know they work directly with the Senate and they have a caseload. And I mean, uh, 